my channel Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly. I've used a ketogenic journey to lose 211 pounds. There have been multiple times during my long journey that I have been stalled due to medication, due to stress, due to the weather, allergies. Also, there have been multiple times I've gone off keto here or there. Uh, every time I took a trip, things like that. My boyfriend was here starting on Valentine's Day for seven weeks and I was all over the place and went up 20 pounds. I am still working on trying to get that off. I tried a two-day protein uh, keto with really, really high proteins, like over a pound of chicken breasts with no skin. So it's where I do 45, 50 fat grams, and then uh, a lot of protein, real fresh raw protein, not raw, I do cook it. But no chemicals, like it's just plain, and I cook it myself in an air fryer with just Himalayan salt. Um, those two days I did really good. I lost um, five pounds in two days. I did a keto chow week where I was only weekend, three day weekend, where I was only doing keto chows, collagen coffees, premier protein shake, keeping at a total of 20 total carbs or less on all of these challenges. Um, and I lost 3.2 pounds. Then I moved over to the Fat Fest for three days and ended up gaining a pound. Um, today is day two on two meals a day, staying in my macros, and one meal is a salad. Well, let me show you my macros from yesterday, my sleep, my Fitbit, all of that stuff. Um, yeah, but if you watched yesterday's video, you will know I got a serious, serious boo-boo. The day before I got a boo-boo and went up a little. Yesterday, I got even a worse one. Let's just say this part of my body and my whole shin from my knee to my foot is all damaged. Like, it was bad yesterday. I should have took a picture, but I was freaking out. Um, it calmed down. I did take a picture hours, hours later. And now it's really, it was a hematoma size of a tennis ball, like really fast in seconds on my shin after hitting it. Um pain excruciating the pain still hurts today but I have to do stuff I can't lay around um so injuries it's true can make you go up stubbing your toe can make you go up and I was not expecting these numbers I, I, I forgot injuries can make you go up let's look I almost forgot to record okay my glucose is 69 it's telling me to eat but who cares Ketones. Zero point one. Really not in ketosis, but it's lying. Just because I don't have ketones doesn't really mean I'm not in ketosis. Because look, my glucose is only 69. And other than the salad, I, I didn't have any carb stuff. I only got 6 hours and 12 minutes of sleep. Did 9,075 steps yesterday. Would have been way more, but I hurt myself. And my macros was 122 protein, 86 fat, 1323 calories and 18 total carbs. So I hit all my macros basically yesterday perfectly. I shouldn't have gone up and I shouldn't have gone up that much. Today's weigh in, I am 168.2 or 6. Yep, up on the scale. <sighs> it had to be the injury. 11 a.m., my first meal of the day is my salad. I am using mayo, no salad dressing, to two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Also, I've cut down the meat drastically. I think the other ones just had way too much meat and might have affected my way in. Who knows? The injury definitely affected my way in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I went up a ton. A crap load. And remember, if you watched just these videos, I was having cravings of sugar and all this other crap after injuring myself. I didn't cheat. I didn't have sugars. I didn't do any of that. And still, 
the scale went drastically up. I didn't even take pain meds. I, I couldn't anyways. Ibuprofen makes you bleed more and I was bleeding all underneath the skin. So taking ibuprofen would have been dumb, but it would have helped my pain. But I didn't even do that. Uh, and the scale still went up. So you saw I already had a salad today. It is 12 o'clock now. I have to run to the meat market. I'm um, praying to buy some meat for tonight. I, I I think I just put way too much meat in my salad yesterday. It fit in my macros, but maybe that was affecting me. So I pu pulled most of the meat out of it today. I um, only left like two ounces in. Originally, I had like six ounces of meat in my salad, which would be fine if I think it if it was chicken, but it was sandwich meat. Even though it's very very clean sandwich meat, low like no carbs, low um sodium or no sodium at all in some of them um, because I have to add my own sodium. Fake sodium makes, just doesn't work out for me. Like table salt, you know, the fake crap they put in the places. If it doesn't say Himalayan salt, it doesn't work for me. But no, I went up on the scale. I don't know if it was the sandwich meat because it can do that to me or if it was my injury. I'm not going to sit here and analyze it. I already decided I'm just not doing it. I said I would do a three-day salad, so I'm doing three-day salad. Today is day two, so one more meal I get to have with, like, eggs or some kind of protein. And then I am doing the same tomorrow, and after that, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Maybe a keto child day. <clears throat> I'm not going to go three days at a time anymore. I'm going to mix it up um, and see what happens. I really need to get this weight off, but i got to wait until I... Hill can't actively walk 10 plus thousand steps right now. I can't actively do all my workouts. I can do my weights, but this little injury, well, two injuries because it, it does hurt to raise my arm, is really setting me back. But I'm still determined. I'm still determined. I have to be under 158 uh, by June, but I really want to be under 148 by then. So I'm still striving for being under 148 because right now I have exactly 20 pounds I have to lose all over again. A week ago, uh, I was at this point and I had lost down where I, I, I lost. I, I was five pounds lighter than I am right this minute. What happened? What happened? And one day I went back up five pounds. This is why the scale is evil evil because I'm not wearing any bigger sizes. I'm not more bloaty at all or anything. Let me see. So I don't know. This is a small, my small pants are fitting me perfect. Small tank top, small shirt. It's all smalls. Literally. Um, to me, this doesn't look like a small. I look in there and I look at myself like when I hold it up, I'm like, how can I even fit this? And then it goes on me and then it's loose. And I look in the camera right now and I don't look like a small to me. I look like a large to me, to be truthful. So my mind today is not seeing a small girl. I don't feel small today. I don't like the number on the scale. I don't like that I get hurt. I am having a lot of trouble breathing today, but I'm pretty sure it's from being around all the pollen and the gravel and the dirt that we've been stirring up the last couple of days. Um, so who knows? This video will probably be really tiny. I'll just come back in, show you what else I eat for the day, put little inserts here or there. It won't be crazy long. I didn't even make the video that goes up tomorrow. I didn't even put it together until this morning because I was hurt too bad last night. I just laid on that couch and ended up falling asleep on it. Um, it is what it is, but even, even with my boo-boos, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep thinking positive that I will meet my goal. And if I don't, I'm going to be like, what? What happened? <laughs> like, like seriously, I should be able to meet this goal. I met it in February so easily, the 158. So I should be able to get back there. Of course, my body has the lottery adjusting. Like I'm waking up with very low blood sugars. Okay. So that's a win. So even though it's saying I'm not in ketosis because my ketones aren't high, to have that lower blood sugar and to not be eating carbs, I'm in ketosis. I'm just not putting enough ketones out there to be measured. 
I'm using the amount of ketones that I have because right now I'm not really eating much fat. It's coming from my body. I did eat a lot of fat yesterday. I think it was 80 or the day before. I don't know. But mostly, mostly it's coming from my body. And I notice, I'm noticing there's a little thing going on. As long as I stay 20 total carbs or less, I stay 55 fat grams or less. It doesn't matter what my calories are. It doesn't matter about my protein level. Um, the higher the protein, the better though. But I can lose weight. It is like a fat issue for me right now. Not a calorie issue. And it is a carb issue. A total carb issue. So if I went and ate two pounds of chicken, boneless, skinless, chicken breast, my fat would be where it needs to be. My protein would be crazy, crazy high. Um, my calories would probably be a little higher. And I would probably lose weight. I realize my body just doesn't like vegetables too much, though. I mean, every time I eat it, I just don't feel my best. My brain thinks, oh, you love salads, eat a salad. Well, all of a sudden, I'm not liking the taste of these salads. I had to force myself to eat one today. I'll force myself to eat one tomorrow. And then I'm checking out the salad zone forever, like probably forever. I no longer like the taste of salads. But even if I load it with salad dressing, I still don't like the taste. All I really want is like a lettuce wrap with a slice of tomato, a little bit of mayonnaise mustard, all the meats in there, maybe even some shredded lettuce in there, but that's it. Um, or just the meat and cheese. Or a burger with lettuce and tomato wrap. I'm just not liking salads. Is anyone else like totally over salads or a food that you're just totally over that you used to love with a passion before keto, during keto, and then all of a sudden you just don't have the taste for it anymore and you don't like it anymore? Or is it just me? Or am I just going through a thing? <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to shut up and get to that meat market. And um, like I said, I'll, I'm, I'm going to do the salad tomorrow because I said I was going to do a three-day salad thing, but I'm not liking them. going to be completely honest. If I wasn't doing it for this channel, I would be like, ain't eating that salad tomorrow. Just saying. The bad thing about waking up so early is I get hungry earlier. And it's 2 o'clock and I'm on my last collagen coffee. I'm going to have to figure out, I hate just drinking water. I like to drink coffee at night. And and I've had a rule this whole entire past year, no more than three coffees a day. I might break it today and get me Americano. Um, yeah. I really dislike how much I want my coffee. <laughs> like, I don't know what to drink after this. Like, I'm almost done with it. It's only, like I said, like 2.40 or something like that. That's the bad thing about me waking up so early. When I wake up at 12, I drink it slowly. I'm done around 2. Then at 3, I make another one. And then it's slow and slow. And then... But when I'm waking up at 8 or earlier, I'm done with my coffees before 2. And then I'm stuck with just water because any flavor drinks all give me heartburn. Can't, the one thing that doesn't, which is um, Mountain Dew, sugar-free, Major Mellow, um, melon or whatever, can't have it. It's a Mountain Dew. It's um, watermelon supposedly, but doesn't taste like watermelon. It tastes more like a fake strawberry to me. But it swells me and causes my weight to go up, so I can't have that. I'm stuck with just plain, nasty, disgusting water. So that's how my day is going so far. I'm actually hungry, but I want to eat steak, I think, for dinner tonight. So I don't want to eat anything else other than the salad I had this morning because it's two meals a day, and I don't have time to cook the steaks right now. i got to go to Lowe's. So, Yeah. I think we won't be eating until 6 today. Because I'm grilling the steaks and it's for everyone, I have to wait for everyone else's ready for dinner. Because I don't want to do charcoal twice because that just costs too much. You need to do it all at once. <laughs> so, yeah. I need a tiny charcoal grill so I can make mine separately and not use that much charcoal when I need mine earlier than theirs. So I'm going to be waiting until they're ready. 
I'm hoping it'll be by six. Sometimes they're not ready to eat until eight and I'll be ready for bed and starving, but I really want to eat my steak. And I'm sticking strong to the two meals a day. One's the salad. I'm doing it tomorrow, but I can tell you right now, this is not a challenge I will be giving myself ever again. I'm sick of salads. So sick of them. Like, I'm surprisingly sick of them. So, like I said, I have no clue. I know for sure I'm doing a meal in keto chow tomorrow. That's already on my list for tomorrow. And maybe I'll just keep keto chow and a very high protein meal. Basically, like maybe some cheese, maybe, but definitely either pork chops or steak, not steak, pork chops or um, chicken. That's what I bought. I have lots of chicken. I have, I think, two pounds on chicken and two pounds on pork chops or something like that because the next couple of days will be steak, not steak. Oh, steak is in my head. But it'll be pork chops and chicken the next couple of days, the pork loin stuff. That's what I bought. Meats, I think, for three or four days were. So it's going to be very high protein. I can tell you that much. And the only carbs I'll be having is um, probably from Keto Chow and my three collagen coffees. So I'll still be under 20 total carbs, easy. And um, maybe even a premier protein shake. Because the next three days is going to be very high protein. I'm not going to be adding fat. I'm not going to eat the fat on any of the meats. I eat my steak or my pork loins. And we'll see what happens. It is 7.20. I'm having 8 ounces of a porterhouse. Yeah, I already ate 2 ounces of it. And I've cut all the fat off. Um, so I'm starving. So I'm going to dig in. Oh, no. The TV's running. Okay. There's really no lighting in here and nothing I can do about this. I don't know when y'all are going to see this video because I don't know when I can put it together and make it because I need to use my hand. I'm right-handed. So what happened? What happened? Why did you see that clip? Um, yeah, I can't, can't really see it very well. Um, I've had two shots. I'm pain med so that I can even talk because I was almost throwing up and everything. What happened was the grill, the charcoal grill, when I lit it from the bottom, I forgot to have the top open because it normally flames up. Yeah, because I don't use charcoal. I'm a gas girl person. And my hand was stretched in it with the lighter. So it's this one. Thank God I had a jean cooking apron on because it caught fire. My watch caught fire. I threw it off of me. All my nails caught fire. You can't really see it. Uh, so did my arms, my hands, and um, I have burns, second degree burns all up and down both arms, especially the right one and my hand. I can't even close my hand. You can't really see it. Like, I don't they gave me some shots for inflammation, take the red away, take the swelling, because my skin was very swell swollen. Ugh, I can't even talk. Um, I have a few pictures of it a little bit after the shot. Um, they said it'll get worse probably over time, and I have to see a burn specialist at UNC. Next week, I have to call Monday and make an appointment because my hand won't close all the way, and because I'm 9% of my body burns. And... They're just worried about compartment syndrome, so I have to keep, if my hand starts closing even less than already is, I have to go in, so, like, immediately, but, yeah, they don't think it'll scar, it's only second degree, and my third degree burns didn't scar on me, surprisingly, when I had third degree burns over 100% of my stomach, and I was like, that hurts, but not as bad as this. And I guess because I burned all my nerves off, like I barely have filling on my stomach after that, um, even to this day, and it was four or five years ago. <sighs> but because my nerves are still alive, which is a great sign in feeling pain, but uh, the pain was excruciating, excruciating. But I had an amazing doctor, amazing nurse. Both guys were over the chart amazing. They listened to me. They felt bad for me. They found antibiotic cream that I could use without allergic reaction. They f there's been a trividol and there's something like that. There's a very steroid ibuprofen shot 
that takes the inflammation and the pain down. Like it stopped the swelling and brought down the pain, turned the red away. Like within minutes of taking the first shot, um, the pain was so much better. Like it only still hurt in my hand. And then they gave me a second shot to lower the pain in my hand. Of course, it's starting to come back because it's been a few hours and both butt cheeks hurt because they had shots in them with very long needle. Um, but they were amazing because normally I'm sent home and told, no, you're too allergic to stuff. We're not giving you anything. We're not going to even put gauze on you. Like I've been told that so many times at that hospital. I've been sent home with nothing year after year from burns, from breaking, from needing stitches. I had to tape myself up before because I couldn't have like no lidocaine or anything like that for stitches. They refused to stitch me. I was like, are you kidding me? Up on the other wing in the same hospital, I had 17 stitches with no pain meds or anything, like no numbing, and no, not even a numbing spray. I'm like, I survived that. I could survive stitches in the ER, but no, no, they don't like to touch me there. So I was very pleased to find a doctor and a nurse that was more than willing to help me and find stuff that would help me. Um, cause I was shaking. My blood pressure was sky high. I couldn't talk. I kept biting my tongue because my teeth would not stop chattering. I wasn't cold. I was just in so much pain. I was almost throwing up everywhere from the pain. And they said, hopefully the pain will be completely gone in 24 hours. They told me to take my 800 milligram Motrin around the clock and plus I had those shots, but I'm scared when it wears off, the pain's going to come back again. So I'm about to go to sleep. Like I said, I'm not sure when you are going to see this because I am not left-handed at all. And I can't work anything with my left hand. I mean, holding the phone right now with my left hand is almost impossible. Um, but it's just like the hands never worked for anything. And this one I can't even close enough to put around a mouse and it hurts too bad. Even though they told me I have to keep you can't even see it. Like for me, looking in there, it looks like my hand's completely normal and nothing's wrong with that at all. It's so weird. It's so white and melty. I don't even know how to explain it. Um, and, like, it's so weird. I cannot capture it. Even the picture I showed you in the hospital, that little bit, um, it did not do it justice. Like it looks like it wasn't even right on the camera it's so weird but but yeah yeah that that's been my day and, and i i didn't get to eat that steak and it's 11 almost midnight yep not going to now okay so i am just adding today which is saturday and yesterday's video together, which was Friday, the replacing of the salad. Today is day three of it. Um, so, yeah. Got a bad boo-boo. Um, it's on both my arms. The shots really took out the redness and burning, but there's still a lot of pain, and my skin is very poofy. Um, you're not going to be able to see it. Well, you can see it some. So this is my skin turning brown. Um, they said it's a second degree dermal thickening burn. So my skin's going to get thick and brown. Um, my hand is the worst of it. Um, I can't, I don't know how to make y'all see it. Like, see the discoloration? So this is all purple, red, and doesn't look like skin to me at all. It is really gross, and it's through my whole hand. It's just not showing up well in the video. Um, the two shots I had yesterday is still working. They said it would work for hours, um, like hours and hours, and it was late last night. I had my last one. And then um, I don't know if I took my ibuprofen when I woke up. You can't double it. Because it's 800 milligrams. So I gotta wait at least four hours to take one. I don't think I took it. I was distracted. But I can't believe how right handed I am. My makeup, yeah, this is from yesterday. I can't wash it off. I can't wash dishes. 
I tried opening my collagen container, couldn't do it because both arms are burned. So I can't snuggle it and twist the top and I can't hold it and twist the top. So, and I couldn't, I couldn't use my salt shaker. Um, this hand really, it will not close correctly still um, at all and it is extremely painful. And every time I do try to, it feels like I'm ripping my skin open. So it is what it is. I have to call the burn center Monday. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, be careful with grills. It is grill season. I had no clue. Um, I've always lit it and the flame goes whoosh, shooting up because you know, you put lighter fluid, it's going to push real fast, right? Um, mm -mm -mm. I didn't have the lid open and this one has a bottom opening and I didn't think anything of it and I lit through the bottom. I always had a barrel one, never used one with the bottom before and the flames came like an infernal, it sucked in and sucked all out and blew straight into me like this. The flame, I was for sure I was a goner. My apron's still on the ground that got burned. Um, got scorched all over it. I was putting out that fire with my burned hand. Um, <laughs> It was a scary moment and like I'm not allowed to do anything my dad just made me get on the tractor and move it but um I'm not supposed to be doing anything because they're afraid I'm gonna hurt myself even more because every day I'm hurting myself worse than the day before like boom 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 so yeah good thing I, I, I cooked me my chicken and my pork chop pork loins for the weekend I don't have to cook anyways I have a salad for today, my protein, and then for the weekend, I'm just going to do keto chow if I can manage to do it without my right hand, and um, the chicken and pork loin that I cooked. I was having a great time. Great time. I was like, yes, I'm cooking all my food, prepping, and I get, got my mom some food for prepping, and <sighs> yeah, this is my... I've never, I, I should throw these away. It's just paint. When I painted my wall, it's, somehow I got it on here and I've never thrown it away. I just keep using it. And they're cheap, but oh well. Um, <laughs> what else was I going to say? I don't know. It's freezing in here. I hope they're supposed to come do, put the valve on so I can have heat and air again today, but it started raining, so I don't know. <laughs> trying to think if there's anything else so no way in well I wait in with clothes on because I can't get my clothes off um it's too hard to get them on and off and I definitely can't get my watch off at all because this hand won't bend enough um it's just so tight it feels like it's in like clay around it and it won't let it move so um what was I trying to so I weighed and I didn't copy it into my phone because I was covered in clothes and socks on even and can't really pull those off either so the weigh in was 167 but I'm sure it's two plus pounds less than that because I always have about two pounds of clothes on including my watch um, so I was fine with the weigh in which was surprising because I ended up eating that piece of meat my steak in the end late last night right before going to bed with a pack, yep, I'm gonna say it, a pack of those protein snickerdoodle cookies from Perfect Keto, which would be no problem if I wasn't trying to uh, keep 20 total carbs. I don't know if they went over 20 total carbs. I gotta add it in, I haven't done it yet. I'm not gonna be showing macros because I can't swipe my screen because I need this hand to swipe my screen to screen print, unless I can get my daughter to do it. Um. So yeah, so I had that last night. I didn't feel guilty at all because I wasn't eating it because I was craving sweets. I was eating it because I was starving and that steak was not enough. And I just, I was like, okay, what can you eat? And I had Quest peanut butter cookies, but peanut butter cookies is like a treat to me. The Quest Snickerdoodle cookies, I like, like eating a granola bar like 
definitely, you know, it's not what I consider candy at all. It doesn't taste like candy at all. It's not a treat to me. It was always my meal replacement for breakfast is when I eat those usually. So I didn't feel like I was cheating. And I don't know where the macros. We're going to see in a minute. I'll let y'all know. So, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I feel like I have this dead hand because this is as much as I can close it. Even with the, when I take these off, I still can't close it because this whole area and here is a thick, disgusting skin that's hard as a rock. Um, it's burned. It's literally burned. Like, not red anymore. Those shots took the redness away. It's like brown burn, like you can see here. This is all very crispy, disgusting feeling, brown skin. I can't even feel, I can feel the pain right here still, but nowhere else. And it goes around my arm. And I don't think you can see this too well, but this area right here is very poopy and very painful still. And it actually still has a lot of red. I don't know why phones won't show you. Um, you can see it in person really well. And then I've got the brown crispy going on over here. But that just means they're starting to heal, so yay. Um, got my antibiotic cream on that I'm not having a reaction to. I mean, my nose is very stuffy today, so I don't know if that's a part of it. I don't know if you can see the redness through here. Um, it's just crazy. Someone's here. Give me a second. Okay, it is 12 p.m. on Saturday. I'm having my last salad of the challenge. I took 90% of all the deli meat out and stuck seven ounces of grilled chicken. I wanted to cut it, but with my hand, I can't cut it. Um, also, I'm having my first collagen coffee. Ignore the beef stick, it's my daughter. She left it on the table. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat this the best I can one-handed. And the sad thing is I'm right-handed, so I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. That you can really see, but I'm kind of in a hurry. But I have six ounces of pork loins that I grilled. Them just reheating. There we go. And I'm going to eat that.